So I think firstly to say that we're still in the early days of understanding Omicron and how it affects people. Secondly, that clearly if you've had a prior infection or you've had vaccination, we would expect you to have less severe disease. However, the sheer weight of numbers that look like are coming towards us with the Omicron infection means that it will find those people who are, are unvaccinated or who've had a poor response to the vaccine for their underlying immune condition. And that will still mean that we will still see individuals in hospital. Um, in the confirmed cases in the UK at the moment, um, uh, we've only had a very small number over the age of 70 who are the people we see with most severe disease in hospital. So I think it's early days for us to tell. Um, in South Africa, that even though they are reporting that there's a lot of mild disease and a lot of people are coming into hospital with COVID rather than because of COVID, it is still using a rapidly increasing number of beds over the last 10 days. Because they've also said, I think, that the, the disease, this part of the pandemic has peaked already and they've had no restrictions whatever. So is there a danger that in this country we are panicking a little bit too early? So I think we're making the right restrictions right now and doing some things that will reduce transmission. Uh, we have a very different age profile in our population in the UK, a lot of an older population, the average age here in the UK of close to 41 compared to 27 in South Africa. Uh, and therefore, we are at higher risk of individuals with, who are older, um, more severe um, underlying conditions and uh, immunocompromised. To, for those to get this infection with so much of it about and therefore have severe consequences. So what we're asking for is people to take their personal precautions, wearing their face coverings, use ventilation, get their vaccine if they haven't had it or get boosted if they have to reduce the impact on hospitals and to prevent uh, a severity um, of disease that will impact on all of us. Right now, do we know that anyone has been hospitalised because of Omicron or died because of Omicron? So we are getting reports of individuals coming into hospital um, over the last few days um, with Omicron. Um, and we are investigating those carefully with the hospitals concerned. Uh, we're also seeing um, hospitals diagnose more and more people coming through their emergency departments. Uh, and we expect to see increases in that number. I have not had a report of death yet. But it's really important to remember, it is just over two weeks since we first detected the cases in the um, United Kingdom and that hospitalizations start to be seen about two weeks and deaths usually at three to four weeks. So I think it's too early to make any assumptions at this point in time.